Hello everyone, my name is Ola Leko Amosa. I am the founder of Just Farming Africa. On today's show, we're going to be talking about snail farming all the way from Oyo State in Nigeria. Oyo is a two hours trip from Lagos and an eight hours trip from Abuja. Snail farming is a very lucrative business in Nigeria. A lot of people eat snails. We're going to be talking to Ajoke. Ajoke runs a large scale farm in Oyo State. She's going to be talking to us about why she got into snail farming. She's going to give us a little bit of education about snail farming for people who want to go into snail farming and all. So Ajoka, it's over to you. Talk to us about snail farming. Hi and welcome to Jock Snail Farm. My name is Lamon Ajoke. So uh, why I started snail farming, right? It happened that in 2016, after I finished school, I was waiting for NYC and so I had about six to eight months to wait. So I was just thinking of, okay, what can I do while I'm still in my student apartment waiting for NYC? And, you know, um, I went for a train and the facilitator was talking about different kind of businesses you can do with less than 100K. He mentioned zobo making, kono making and snail farming. The moment he talked about snail farming, I just remembered my love for snails while I was still very, very young. I'm that girl you see every time it rains picking up snails in the environment. So I remember that I used to keep snails while I was a child and you know, that just arose my interest in the business again. So after the training that day, I went to meet the facilitator and he gave me a contact of a snail farmer then in Ibadan. So I got my 30 snails from the, the people he introduced me to and that was how I literally started my snail farm from my student apartment in 2016. <laughs> It was a try and error thing for me that year because I had zero or no knowledge on snail farming. In fact, all my snails died. All the snails I started with, all the snails died. And so, you know, I kept researching on how I could grow my snails, how I could build my farm. And for good 18 months, it was just a try and error phase. And to the glory of God, we are here. And um, I've trained over 2,000 students both locally and internationally, both free and paid. And we have supplied snails in hundreds, in thousands to different states in Nigeria. And we also export our dry snails outside the country. Yeah, so that's how I started snail farming. So I think um, I started with about um, 30,000 Naira, yes. So with that 30,000, I was able to build one orange box I was able to buy 30 breeders. I was also able to get um, the formulated snail feed for them. So I spent 30,000 euros roughly on construction, the feed and the snails. So yeah, that's it. Apart from the trials and errors, the other challenges I faced was um, zero acceptance. You know, when people come in and they see me tending to snails, they'll be like, ah, ah. What are you doing? You're just wasting your time. That was number one. Then number two was knowledge. Yeah, the lack of knowledge really cost me a lot. All right. And um, the fact that, you know, people just thought I was, I was playing around. I was fooling around. I was deceiving myself. So lack of knowledge was a huge constraint for me. And the fact that people see it as a child's play when I started in 2016. So yeah, that was just the two major challenges I faced. How are you able to tell from a male and female snail? This is one of the major questions I get every time. So snails are hermaphrodites, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive systems. That is to say, all your snails will lay eggs. So you cannot say this snail is male, this other snail is female. They are both male and female at the same time. So all the snails you have, if you have 30 snails, all your 30 snails are going to drop eggs for you. But yes, they still mate. But the fact that a single snail can lay eggs even without mating is a huge, um, is a huge encouragement for snail farmers. So all your snails are going to lay. There is no male, there is no female. Snails are hermaphrodites. Okay, so the whole reproduction cycle is about 18 months. Yes, I know. Snails are slow-growing animals, all right? So when you have your young snail, your baby snail, from day zero to about eight months, that is the how long it will take for that particular snail to drop his first egg, all right? So 
sometimes it can even be more than that sometimes it could be 10 months so depends on the feeding and how well you are able to care for the snail so that will take about 10 months for the snail to hatch and then after three months the snail will continuously be dropping eggs for you all right so after the first zero to 18 or 10 months the first egg you get once you get that first egg you'll be getting another subsequent egg from the snail in another three months now the baby snail the egg that it's laid it will take one month for that egg to hatch and once the egg hatch the old production cycle it starts again so if you want to get jumbo snails you will need to grow your farm for a minimum of 18 months all right so it is it is an investment it is an agri business and it has a delayed gratification if you if you are committed and you are passionate about it you will definitely wait for the snails to germinate because that is the only way you can make more money if you sell your snails at eight or ten months the person you are selling the snail to will be the one to benefit more because you are, you are already selling out the eggs so there is nothing coming in for you so if you can wait for that 18 months after you pass through the 18 months process then you can now start selling your snails and you'll be able to make quite a lot of money from it so we give our snails varieties they eat almost everything that you give to them as long as there is no salt in it snails will take watermelon from you they will take pawpaw they will take ugu they will take all kinds of vegetables spinach lettuce all forms of vegetables they will take it from you they also have a special formulated snail feed and calcium take for instance we fed our snails with um, the snail feed and calcium yesterday night and there is no leftover really so they love the formulated snail feed and calcium and they give us a clean plate every time we feed it to them so snails eat a wide range of vegetables fruits and formulated snail feed supported with calcium okay so when a customer requests for snails it depends on the size we have various sizes so for instance if the customer is going for the jumbo snail we pick it up from their pens and we wash them out after that we deshell it you can use armor to remove it some people use stone and there's also a rod an iron rod that you can use to bring out the flesh from the shell without damaging the shell either method the goal is just to bring out the snail meat so once you are done removing the snail meat you remove the intestine and every other waste that is attached to the snail meat you put them in a separate bowl so we use lime and salt to wash our snails so first we use the salt to take away the slime we can do this process like three or four times we use the salt and we rub it together we wash it then after that we now use lime we extract the lime juice then we wash the snails again after which we now use the flesh of the lime to clean up the snail meat itself we use it to brush every part so that whatever sand or soil that is in the soil and in the snail we are able to take it all out then once we are done taking it all out then the next thing is to move it into the oven or you sell it fresh depending on the customer's preference some customers just want us to clean the snails for them and that is why some people want us to dry it so when we dry snails for exports we follow customers um, um specification some customers want it spiced, garnished with pepper, onion, maggi, and salt. Why some people want it plain? So depending on what the customers want, that is what we will give to them. So that's basically how we export. We clean the snails and then we process it. Okay, so there are no vaccines for snails. We treat snails with pure herbs. Herbs like moringa, like saint leaf, like dongoyaro, and... Um, we also use banana leaves depending on the kind of um, treatment depending on depending on the kind of sickness okay so but for snails generally the snail farmer should maintain a proper farm hygiene if your snail farm is clean you do your normal farm routine every day you shouldn't have issues with mortality but if your snail is sick yes you the only way you will know that the snail is ill is that the snail will withdraw to himself it will not eat 
there will be no activity it will just move to one particular spot of the pen and there will be no activity for the screen so if you notice the the sickness on time you can, there can be remedy for it but if you if it is too late if you don't notice on time the chances of reviving the snake is usually on a 50 50 rate you can see her snake pen see how neat it is so as a snail farmer you must maintain a good proper farm hygiene once you are once you are good with cleaning your snail pens your you shouldn't have issues with mortality okay so there are, there are treatments for six snails but not vaccine we use herbs like i mentioned earlier it's just pure herbs that we use and before you can administer any kind of herb you must you must know the kind of sickness there are some sickness that it could be a fungi infection so if it is a fungi infection you need banana leaf and some other stuffs to treat the snail and if it's um say cannibalism cannibalism is a is a is an instance where one snail feed on the other snail so there is no remedy for cannibalism the only thing you need to do is to reduce your stocking capacity and you don't put young snail with the adult snail separate each snails in their different growing capacity so don't mix jumbo snail with baby snail don't mix baby snails with grass snails let every snail have their own particular pen so that will help to prevent cannibalism in the farm um thank god for social media <laughs> so the fact that we now have access to the internet has made selling a whole lot easier all you have to do is create content you post it on instagram facebook or twitter or tiktok and then some people will reach out to you requesting for your service so that's how we have been getting customers and word of mouth referrals we get referrals from customers who have patronized us and they are satisfied with our services so they refer us to other clients and then we also sell to them and then the bridge keeps growing so that's how we have been getting customers uh, i wouldn't say we've been having challenges getting people to buy from us because our pages are wall of education so when you go to our instagram page or tiktok you see something to learn from and the fact that you can learn from me for free when i ask you to give me the money you give it to me freely without even thinking twice so yeah sales has been great we don't struggle to sell um there's a particular saying that says what a man can do a woman can do better <laughs> the saying i would say is true because <laughs> you still need a man to support you like my husband has been very supportive and you know yeah if you're a woman you want to enter into the agricultural space please feel free to enter okay it is not a an industry that is for men alone and the thing is we women we even do better compared to the men in the industry so if you're a woman it is even a it is an edge for you because people tend even the male they tend to patronize more female okay let me just support this girl oh this lady is hard working you understand so we get we get to gain more patronage because of our gender so don't allow your gender to limit you okay if you want to start snow farming or you want to enter into any agricultural space please feel free gather the right knowledge you need and launch your business okay this is a very brilliant question so when a snail is dead there is nothing you can do to the meat it's just for you to throw it away but the shell is very useful because it is made up of 99.9 percent .9 calcium so you see this product right here is made from 100 percent snail shell so we recycle snail shells into calcium supplements for snails and other livestock animals to eat. So this is one of our best selling products in the farm. So we are on all social media platforms and this is my personal number 081-46-424483. We are on Instagram at jocks underscore snail farm. We are on TikTok at jocks underscore snail farming. We are on YouTube at jocks underscore snail farm. We are also on Facebook at jocks space snail space. 
and fam we are also on linkedin at jock snail farm also if you are watching this video i have a free gift for you we'll be having a free webinar in the month of october if so snail farming is something you want to do either on a commercial scale or from the free space in your backyard kindly reach out to me on the number that i called earlier or you reach out to us on any of our social media platforms so that you can get the link to join the free training so the free training is coming up in the month of october please don't miss it please and please kindly subscribe to just for women youtube page to watch amazing videos of women who are changing the world one space at a time thank you so much for having me on this show just for women i had an amazing time bye